Hello everyone. Today I am starting a new series on lean process improvement methodology. In our first video, we will talk about what is lean thinking and the principles of lean. Lean is a systematic method used to continuously improve any process. It's a new way of thinking aimed at maximizing value to the customer with least investment of resources. Eliminating waste is also an integral part of lean. Waste could be due to useful uselessness, overburden, or unevenness called as muda, muri, and muda. These all are Japanese terms by the way. It is important to know that lean is of immense value to the manufacturing industry. However, lately it has also established itself as a strong process improvement tool in the service industry. Taking an example from our daily life, how lean applies. Any person who wants to lose weight is actually trying to be leaner by removing the waste which is the excess fat in the body through regular workouts and a proper food regime. To understand it much better now, let's have a glass of water. What do you say? So here we have the glass of water. Looking at this glass, an optimistic person would say that this glass is half full. A pessimist might say this glass is half empty. Whereas a lean thinker might ask, why is the size of the glass twice of what is required? Well, this speaks volumes of what lean thinking is all about, isn't it? Well, so moving on to the principles of lean, the lean cycle, which we call it, it starts with identifying the value, mapping the value stream, creating flow, establishing pull, and seeking perfection. It's all about value adding activities. Let's look at them in a little more detail now. We will consider an example from a contact center where everyone sees. I believe every one of us must have tried to get in touch with a contact center at one point of time or the other. So let's see lean in play now. Identify value. So value is identified from a customer's perspective. And who is the customer here? Any person calling at the contact center number to get their queries resolved is a customer. And value is something for which the customer is willing to pay. The next step is mapping the value stream. So all steps in the process should be mapped, including both value adding and non value adding activities. In a contact center, a value stream could be the set of complete end to end sequence of activities to process and satisfy a customer contact event, which could be a call, a chat or an email. Let me tell you here that we will have a completely separate video on value stream mapping soon, and I bet it is going to be a very interesting one for you. One important point to note here is that in any organization, there is usually more than one value stream. Yes, more than one. And so, please do not worry when you see this in the real, real world. Moving on to the next step, which is creating flow. To create flow, we need to knit or connect the value adding steps in the right sequence and in a tight sequence. This will result in a smoother call flow without any disruptions or delay to the customer. Mapping the value stream in the previous step actually helps to identify those loose ends which need repair. Waste elimination also plays an important role here in an attempt to get a cleaner call flow. Proper implementation of technologies such as IVR, interactive voice response, skill-based routing of calls, CTI, computer telephony integration, etc. also helps in creating a better flow. Moving on to the next step in the lean cycle, it is establish pull. It indicates process alignment, faces customer's demand and need of the hour. Customers call a help desk with a specific intention and expect specific value to be appended to the conversation. In a contact center environment, call patterns are measured and forecasted to def define appropriate call cues and routing algorithms. Agents skill and scheduling is also taken into account to establish the right pull. The ultimate goal is to provide optimal customer value. The last step in the lean cycle is seeking perfection. It means that once the first four steps are in place, reiterate till a state of perfection is reached. While true perfection can never be reached, a lean organization always strives towards perfection. So closing on a positive note, today I hope you like the principles of lean thinking and will find its use in your day-to-day -day activities. In our upcoming videos on lean, I will discuss the different tools and techniques used in lean implementation. Let me tell you here specifically that lean is a very interesting journey and I'm sure that your time will be worth it. So before I sign off, I thank you once again.
for your time today to watch this video. Please leave your comments, suggestions and let me know if you have any specific topic in mind that you would like to see here. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn at the link shown on the screen. So thank you so much and stay blessed.